I learned to my surprise that there's a great demand for physicists in the field of finance. And that uh, although I thought this was quite peculiar at first instance, because I wondered, what do financiers want with scientists trained in the mysteries of mass? Well, I suppose uh, after I got many answers, I realized maybe it's not so strange after all. I was told by my colleagues that there are similarities between modeling particle systems and modeling financial systems. So I wondered, maybe uh, given the problems we're having in the economy in South Africa, we should swap the economists for the physicists. <laughs> my assist us. I was told as well that really what it's about is dealing with complex networks and that physicists are really good at dealing with networks. I, um, in 2012, had the pleasure of addressing your annual conference just at the time when we had this revelation about the Higgs boson uh, uh, team's work. And of course, in 2012, there was a cabinet reshuffle almost immediately after your annual conference, and I was moved out of the Department of Science and Technology. I sincerely hope it's not going to happen to me after this conference. <laughs> in uh, 2013, of course, we all celebrated when Francois Englert and Peter Higgs won the prize for physics for their work in this modeling that we all celebrate. Well, we've also been uh, very active in South Africa this year, marking the centenary of crystallography. It's quite remarkable, I think, that 28 Nobel Prizes have been awarded to projects related to this particular field. Uh, we talked about this a great deal last week at the National Science and Technology Forum uh, Scientific Awards. I uh, hope that uh, the young scientists present here, given this preponderance of Nobel Prizes, will be encouraged to seek to be innovative and to explore to the highest levels of knowledge the opportunities they have in the field of physics so that one day they will also be part of a team that will win a Nobel Prize. 